<clears throat> Welcome to another glorious day in lab. Today we're doing thermochemistry with your truly Amy. All right, what we have here is a calorimeter setup. All right, and on the inside is a stir bar. And we only have it positioned on a stir plate. All right, and the, uh, the top is pretty much sealed. It has a rubber gasket here, and there's a hole to put it in a temperature probe, which we have here. We also have two styrofoam cups set up. One has cold water and one has hot water. All right, so the, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is find out the temperature using the probe of the cold water. The temperature of the cold water is 10.4 degrees Celsius, which we will record up here. 10.4 degrees Celsius. Okay, the temperature of the hot water is 36.4 degrees Celsius. Over here, 36.4, 36.4 degrees Celsius of the hot water. All right. What we're going to do now is introduce the cold water into the calorimeter. And begin stirring. And once the uh, temperature reaches a pretty fairly constant temperature, we will start collection and introduce the hot water to the cold water. Twelve point six, we have stabilized, and now we'll begin collection. And. We will crack the lid of the calorimeter slightly to introduce the hot water. Um, here we can see we are collecting, and the introduction of the hot water, you immediately see a spike in the ground. And it appears the temperature has stabilized at 23.2 degrees Celsius. And now it begins to decrease just a slight bit, a tenth of a degree Celsius to 23.1. All right, and keep in mind that the uh, calorimeter is stirring the entire time. So the final equilibrium temperature would be the Twenty-three point one degrees Celsius. And that's the entire collection. Next, we'll work with some potassium iodide. For part two of the experiment, we're gonna work with the molar heat of solution of a salt. Um, for this, we need a tenth of a mole of potassium iodide. Potassium iodide weighs 166 grams per mole, so one tenth of a mole is gonna be equivalent to 16.6 grams which is also 100 millimoles. And here we have weighed out 16.612 grams of potassium iodide. Uh, the calorimeter set up for this, the calorimeter is clean and dry. And what we'll do is set the stir plate to a medium stir rate, so it's uh, gentle and not too vigorous. We'll carefully measure 150 milliliters of deionized water using a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. So that was 100 mils, and now we'll add an additional 50 milliliters. It's all about the meniscus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Now that we have 150 milliliters of deionized water in the calorimeter, we are setting the magnetic stir to a gentle stir rate. We can assume the water and the glass parts are at the same temperature as the water for this system. So what we're going to do is cap the calorimeter, put in the probe, and wait for the temperature to stabilize. So it appears our initial temperature that the calorimeter is set up is stabilized at is 21.8 degrees Celsius. We will now begin collection and add the potassium iodide to the stirring calorimeter. Alright, now that we've added the potassium iodide, we'll let it stir and monitor the graph. Right, it appears that the temperature has stabilized and we are at 19 degrees Celsius as our final temperature. All right, so here's all the information you need with the part two of the experiment, the final temperature being 19.0 degrees Celsius.